quality care at a quality price versus inducing circumstances of harm for people, circumstances of hardship for people, circumstances of inadequacy for people, circumstances of lack of resources for people, circumstances like that. Circumstances for the environment being polluted and how our skies look darker. And how when it rains, it seems almost like the other day it was like a million raindrops coming from the sky. Back to back to back to back. It's almost like somebody was doing like in a movie. That's kind of like how our world is becoming. Sci-fi. How we induce circumstances of harm for people. And how people can't eat. How people can't be nourished. How people have to choose between uh, a utility bill and rent. Or how such an effect a utility provider can have on the livelihood, the well-being the survival of a person that receives their services. That in fact, these utility providers can induce circumstances of hardship, depravity, cruel and inhumane circumstances is what that is. When you're living in the dark in 2017, when you are living in the cold, when you are living in the sweltering heat and you have no way to provide air conditioning or to provide heat in the winter for your family. And when the government is instructing its social services programs to talk down and demean citizens, to question citizen self-sufficiency, their financial abilities, their competence, when in fact the government is incompetent, when in fact the government spending is questionable, when in fact the government is receiving money from every person every day, all day, throughout the day, in every way, and how we are in debt. A country that is mismanaging money and affecting the lives and class of people that don't live or have the same expectations of such a said culture of such a said uh, system, structure. We are different. We all have different needs. When you think about the diet needs of a person and you think about a system that says, oh, you can eat whatever you can eat. Because in essence, that's what you're saying when you're not providing food stamps. When you're saying that you're not gonna provide food stamps program connected to the very thing that provides food for children when they go to school or food for kids, when a free school lunch program for many children when that's the only opportunity during the day they're actually going to eat during breakfast and lunch at their public school. Parents cannot realistically afford the challenging complex pricing of uh, the increase in the cost of living associated with our reality that we are living in displaced structure and an environment. We cannot afford to live in the community and environment we are confined in with little space, with no resource, with belittling and no opportunities of true self-sufficiency, a self-prosperity because the government has no way, it has no accessibility to programming and resources and options for poor, underprivileged, colored, minority Americans. We have issues that we need to deal with. We don't have seven months in any year for someone to stress our citizens, for someone to cause unnecessary mental anguish and anxiety is compensatable. We live in a country that wants us to look at, uh, at them and at all these laws and everything affiliated with such as if it is just for a group of people. And when it comes for us to utilize it, to complain about said things, or, or anything to that effect, we are ignored, we are looked over, 
We are almost treated as if we are invincible. Our experiences are downplayed and our experiences are minimized. Does that mean that they haven't taken place? Does that mean that it hasn't happened? That you don't want to believe that I'm telling you the truth about the fact that I'm a grieving parent? That it's too much for a white man to believe my reality, to listen to my reality, that he questions the sufficiency of my realistic truth. And that he tells me that I live in a delusion, an incompetent delusion, and that my experiences as a mother, as a grieving parent, as a grieving American are unreal. They cannot be. They are false experiences. I'm frivolous minded because a white man wants to dictate my experience in America, my own life. How is that possible? It's a culture of people that we are dealing with. It's a culture of people that we need to be done with. It's affecting many of our lives, their own as well. And someone must stand in and be man. Someone must stand up and be woman. Someone must stand up and be the leading child.